Hi, everyone. Welcome to September's edition of the Reading Research Recap. For this month, I chose this paper on vocabulary instruction in the early grades, and they had a really interesting premise. They wanted to know if adding instruction in the sound structure of words, so adding a phonological component to your typical vocabulary instruction, which usually just focuses on the meaning of the word. So does adding this extra component help boost children's word reading scores? So basically, can you work on decoding and comprehension at the same time through vocabulary knowledge? If you don't have time to stick around, the answer is maybe yes, tentatively. But either way, adding in that extra component of sound structure doesn't hurt the children's vocabulary knowledge. So you should feel free to add in that component because it may be helpful. This study used a sample of 273 children in the UK ages five to six. And over there, that's their second year of schooling. Now these students were split among three groups. The first was a sound structure plus meaning making vocabulary intervention. The second group was just meaning only vocabulary instruction. And the third was a control. So basically whatever business as usual, whatever sort of vocabulary instruction or not that was going on in the classroom. Both groups received 12 two-week teaching units centered around a specific storybook. The vocabulary instruction in the combined group, so combined sound structure and meaning group, differed in that it also included sound structure activities that dealt with rhyme, syllables, phoneme counting, and clear articulation. Students were tested on measures of word reading as well as vocabulary at three different time points. So in September, before the intervention started, in June, at the, right at the end of the intervention, and then in November of the following year to see if those effects last. Now that third time point, time three, is a little bit interesting though because those students had already gone off to different classrooms. So this was long after the intervention had ended and that's important when we come to the results. All right, so what were the results? Well, both the combined and the meaning only groups outperformed the controls on measures of vocabulary. There were no significant differences for PA or non-word reading. At time three, the, there were significant differences and in all of those, the group that came out on top was the combined sound structure and meaning group. So what does this mean for you as a teacher? Well, the practical implications of this study are pretty clear that incorporating word structure, um, sorry, sound structure of words in your vocabulary instruction is not going to harm your students. In fact, it's probably just the same and maybe even better than incorporating just semantics or meanings of those words that you're teaching. And I say maybe even better because we have that very preliminary evidence that it did boost um, students' non-word reading, so it also helped their word and decoding skills at time three. But given the design of this study, we can't say that for sure. So more research is needed. But as an early grades teacher of vocabulary instruction, you should consider at least incorporating the sound structure of words into that instruction time. All right, that's all that I have for September, and I'll see everyone in October.